Of course, everyone, we want to continue our live coverage right now from UT's campus as this news is making its way around Vol Nation. Yeah, WAT 6 News Side reporter Gabriella Pagan joining us now, hearing from fans about the big news. Gabriella. Thank you, Bo and Kristen. As you mentioned, this news is beginning to trickle around campus. We have been trying to catch up with students coming in and out of class. We actually caught up with two Lady Balls players themselves. Take a first listen at what they had to say. Uh, it is a sad thing that happened, but um, we, we have to just move forward and, and hope for the best. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I think, you know, nobody wants somebody to lose their job, especially with all the people that it's, it affects. But I just feel like, um, you know, Philip Farmer has true intentions on getting this program to where it needs to be. And exactly what those players are talking about is essentially the feel around campus. Several of the people I spoke to on my way down here say that they expected this to happen. This was not as much of a surprise that it happened, more so the timing. And whether or not they agree with that call of making this announcement just one day before the men's team takes on the very next game of the NCAA tournament. Again, lots of fans here on campus are either learning this news as we approach them about it, but many sentiments across campus right now are exactly what those two players you just heard from and Philip Fulmer in his statement that we need to honor the legacy that Holly Warlick has left at this university, first playing, then coaching under Pat Summit, and then taking the helm. There is so much more student reaction to come coming up live here at 6. But for now, reporting live, on campus, Gabriella Pagan, WATE, six on your side. All right, thank you, Gabriella. Yeah, think about it. Holly Warlick has been a part of this program for the most part since 1976. Yeah. Yeah, he was a player, an assistant coach, an associate head coach, or a head coach. You're talking four decades yeah. of dedication right. to UT, so a lot to be thankful for here. Now we're